humans have a shared understanding of body shape. For example, we all have an idea of what a fit body looks like, or a round apple body, or a skinny body. We use this knowledge of the crowd to create body talk. Body talk is a computational model that relates body shape and words. It can generate 3D bodies from words, and words from bodies. We start with a statistical model of body shape called SIMPLE, which captures the shape variation of people using approximately 4,000 laser scans of men and women. Here, body shape is represented by eight principal components, capturing about 96% of the vertex variance in the training shapes. We randomly sampled 128 male and 128 female body shapes from the SIMPLE PCA space to create a visual training set. Each body is a point in the PCA space and is represented by a vector of coefficients. We also generated a list of 30 words that describe human shape. We hypothesize that people have a shared understanding of shape and that this is reflected in our use of language. If we agree on what shape means, then we conjecture that the collective judgment of shape attributes by the crowd contains a robust signal about body shape. Using Amazon Mechanical Turk, we showed people images of bodies and had them rate them according to words on a five point scale. We collected 15 ratings for each word and for each body. We then average these ratings and this gives a vector of attribute values for each body. We learn a simple linear model to regress from ratings to body shape coefficients. Body Talk uses this simple words to shape model to estimate body shape with surprising accuracy. With this simple model we can now create human avatars without a scanner. Given a photograph of a person, we ask 15 people to rate the body shape using the words. We predict the shape coefficients using the Body Talk model and then reconstruct the 3D body shape using the principal components. Photograph and estimated bodies are shown here. We call this method for estimating shape from crowdsource ratings, crowd shaping. We computed the mean Euclidean distance between the vertices of the true and estimated bodies. The error between predicted body and true body is about a centimetre. Often we know more about a person than their linguistic ratings. For example, most people roughly know their height and weight. While it is well known that people overestimate their height and underestimate their weight, we can correct for this known bias. If we add reported height, weight, or both to the linear prediction, our mean Euclidean error goes down to below one centimeter. This now becomes viable as an alternative to body scanning. We also took the estimated body shapes and computed anthropometric measurements like limb lengths, stature, and chest circumference. Remarkably, words alone predict linear measurements with an error below one centimeter on average and circumferences to about 1.4 centimeters. We can use our model to better understand what shape words mean. The shape descriptors are correlated, and our model captures those correlations. To create a prototype body corresponding to pear-shaped, for example, we set the pear-shape rating to be high, and predict the values of all the other ratings. This is done by simply conditioning a multivariate Gaussian on the word or words of interest. The resulting body shapes correspond to our prototypical, shared idea of human shape. Notice that common descriptors like pear-shaped or long legs correspond to body shapes that we immediately recognize as matching these words. We can now make avatars of our favorite celebrities and world leaders. Here, we show crowd-shaped bodies created from ratings of photos. Note that sports figures and some celebrities, by definition, have bodies that are special. These bodies might not be well represented by the first eight principal components of SIMPLE. Sheldon popularized the notion of a somatotype in the 1940s coining the terms ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph to describe human body types. We collected a standard set of words associated with these types and collected ratings of our training bodies for these new words. Conditioning on the words used for each body type, we reconstruct prototypical bodies corresponding to the classical descriptions. We believe this is the first statistical analysis to produce 3D body shapes of this type. We can use our verbal descriptions for practical applications. Inverting our linear predictor, we can generate word ratings from body shapes. We did this for all the bodies in the CSER dataset, and then augmented the dataset to contain these linguistic fields. Now we can search the database for subjects with particular attributes, as shown here. As with any such database search, we can combine attributes and use ranges of values. We collected words used to describe characters of the book The Maltese Falcon, and crowdsource ratings of the training bodies for these words. We retrained the words to shape model, condition on the words to estimate ratings for the remaining words, and then generate bodies of the characters shown here. Body Talk uses verbal descriptions to create 3D avatars by leveraging crowdsource ratings of 3D body shapes. Our results suggest that humans maintain a veridical representation of 3D shape, 
and can make the transformation from images to this representation and from the representation to a linguistic description. Because it requires no 3D scanner, BodyTalk could make 3D bodies more accessible for online shopping, games and fitness applications. Thank you.